Hello student, our chapter is Social Responsibilities of Business. In the previous videos, we have seen what is social responsibility, what is the need for social responsibility and also we have seen responsibilities towards owners, investors, employees, etc. But today we are going to see social responsibilities of business towards consumer. Consumers are regarded as the king of the market, but in reality, experience is different. Large company with a huge wealth, power and reach can manipulate market in various ways. At a time, they may pass false information through media or other sources to attract consumers. This may be the case, but uh, the fact is a business cannot work without consumers. Consumers are the end user. The businessman is going to sell their product to the consumer. So survival and growth of the business depend on the consumer's satisfaction, service and support. So commercial organization should win the confidence of the consumers. This is possible by following positive attitude towards consumers and fulfilling social responsibility which we are going to see today. What are the social responsibilities towards consumers? First, good quality products. For the consumer, quality matters, not the quantity. If company provide good quality product, consumer will always be loyal to you and will buy from you only. There should be standards set for the quality of the product and there should be quality control department so that the inferior and sub-quality product can be rejected. International Standard and Organization ISO It is the big organization which you may have heard which set the standard for the goods. This is the latest trend towards quality control. ISO International Standards are the most widely used quality management standard around the world. If you see ISO written on any product that shows that it is of a standard quality. Second is fair prices. Consumers should be charged fairly. The prices should not be high. The consumer should not be cheated by charging high prices. Prices should be charged according to the quality of the goods. It is not possible to fool consumers all the time. If business is charging high prices for the low quality goods, consumer will not be fooled for a long time. And if business is charging fair price for the goods and you are giving quality goods, the consumer will become your permanent consumer and he will be loyal to you. He will come to you again and again. As per law, maximum retail price that is MRP should be written inclusive of all the taxes should be printed on every packet and retailer should not charge any extra amount higher than MRP. Third, consumer's safety. The product which the company is selling should not be harmful for the health of the consumer. It is the responsibility of business that product supplied by the businessman should not adversely affect the life and the health of the consumer. Unsafe product should not be marketed. Consumer should be warned of any unsafe goods. For example, you may have seen when buying some cream for the face, it is always written to patch test cream first. Sometimes it happens that some rival organization may introduce imitation articles of interior quality. In such circumstances, the producer of genuine product must alter consumer. Fourth, honest advertising. The consumer wants to know facts, features, advantages, side effects, etc. of the product. If the advertisement is false and business is exaggerating things, if he is presenting product in an exaggerated way, this will create wrong impression on consumers, as if business is fooling consumers. So the organization must be sure that false, misleading and vulgar advertisement should be avoided. Business can sell its product by showing false advertisement in a short run, but in a long run will not appreciate it and he will not buy your product. Fifth. After sales service, only selling product doesn't end your work. Organization is expected to provide after sales services for maintenance of goods during the period of warranty. There should be portal for feedback of the product for the complaints related to product. 
if the business wants to retain good relationship with the consumer and if the business want loyal consumers then business should maintain good relationship with the consumer this will create good image in the market suggestions of consumers should be welcomed and required modification should be considered sixth research and development organization should conduct research and development to improve the quality of the goods and to reduce cost of production research and development is also necessary as the consumers preferences and choices also changes from time to time so it is necessary for the company to be updated to do research so that they can provide good quality product business should provide quality standard such as bis or egg mark on their respective products Seventh, regular supply. Consumers should be supplied with the goods regularly as and when required by them. Entrepreneurs should avoid hoarding of commodity and creation of artificial scarcities. Hoarding of commodity for maximization of profit is business, legal, social, as well as moral offense, and also it create a bad reputation of the business in the market. The commercial organization should not create artificial shortage of goods by hoarding and black marketing. So if Uh, they create shortage demand rises for the goods and this increases the profit of the product which benefit businessman so these kind of mal practices should be avoided a training the business organization should arrange training for the consumers either free or by charging reasonable fees it will be beneficial for the consumers if they know how to use the product how to handle the product there should be guidance provided by the business to the consumer this will make consumers easy to use such goods consumers will know more about the product and this will create brand image ninth attend complaints if the business is selling goods to the consumer but they are not ready to listen to the complaints of the consumer this will create bad image consumers complain Complaints must be attended immediately. Quick and effective grievances redressal system should be implemented. That means there should be some system for handling the grievances. Like consumer can call company for the problems, or they may approach directly to your shop. They can come to your shop for complaints. So there should be some system for handling problems of the consumers, and also so they have some suggestions for improving the quality and quality and design of the goods that should be welcomed by the company. And accordingly, business can try to improve their product. Tenth, avoid consumers exploitation. Entrepreneurs should avoid adulteration. Adulteration in life-saving goods like medicine, food items, drinks, etc., are damaging for the life of the people. Also, business should avoid monopolistic competition in the market. That means there are only few sellers and who are charging their high prices. This will exploit consumers.